Hey, hey, stay with me. I can't. I don't know anything. How did you meet her? I didn't. Oh no. How did you meet her? I don't know. How did you meet her? I don't know. They don't tell me anything. How did you meet her? They don't tell me. Let me go. All right. Fine. Let's just do the interview. Okay. Take a sip from your soul. Josh Radner. Ryan Wilson. Welcome to my van. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Sorry about before. I just really wanted to know. America really wanted to know. Uh huh. No hard yeah. feelings. Sorry about that. As you know, this van, it's a transcendent van. Mm -hmm. We can go anywhere uh, that your heart desires. Anywhere, yeah. Anywhere in the multiverse. Where would you like to go? I would like you to get me home without the horrible traffic I had getting here. Okay. I would like to zip over Los Feliz Boulevard. Yeah. Over Beachwood Canyon and then right for down you to drop Hollywood. me down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Ah. Thank you. Right? Thank you. That feel good? Yeah, that's what we... You have written directed and produced two independent movies. Yeah. That's incredible. I mean, happy thank you more, please. It's, just, it's a really beautiful ensemble comedy. And then Liberal Arts, um, just a fabulous movie, Thanks. Liberal Arts, where you you play a professor going back to a writer. No, I go, your, I go back to see my professor. You go back to see your professor yeah. at the college, um, and you fall in love with a young girl who works at the university. No, she's a she's a student. She's she's and, not a right. She's a, a student, student there. The, yeah, and you you guys fall in love. You run away together and decide. No, the college life isn't. No, no, no. Did did you see the movie? Because it's not. Yeah, you didn't see it. I didn't see the movie. It's not. That's not at all what that's it's not about. the movie. It's because you didn't I, have time enough to prepare for this I interview. I I'm, not, I'm totally unprepared. <laughs> no, for this I know. Interview. I know. You would have watched it's it. It's last minute. I'm gonna yeah, watch it. I know. Liberal arts. Yeah. I read a thing that you had written that I thought was really great, and it was about being an actor may not, or being well known for being an actor, may not make you happy, but it should make you much kinder. Mm -hmm. So explain that. Well, I was asked to write this, this essay by the Los Angeles Times Magazine. It was called Hollywood Rules. Like, what are your rules for making it in mm -hmm. Hollywood? And the only thing that came to me was be kind. Like, that, that was it, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, it just seems to me that it's not just a Hollywood rule, but a life rule. And it, that said, I always find it weird when I hear stories about people who are super successful in whatever uh -huh. capacity, mm -hmm. who are um, just horribly cruel people. I feel like the world's hurting for more kindness. The culture feels a little coarse and cruel. Yeah, certainly in politics, in our, the well, way our whole yeah. country is being governed, just kindness just simply is seen as a sign of weakness. Yeah, and I feel like that's a, a, a like a really old story we have to retire because if we're gonna do anything, like move anything forward, mm -hmm. it's gonna have to come from compassion and kindness. And so I wrote about just being kind generally, like no matter what, mm -hmm. but also it kind of spun off into this bigger metaphysical idea of, you know, if we could think of our words as being, uh, you know, having some charge or heft that they go out in the world and they actually trigger things, you know, that... So the that, actual air that comes yeah, out. Yeah, it's like, it's like... The mean thing you might say... Is like, like air pollution, right? Like yeah, it's the like, gossip or the backbiting. Exactly, it's like, yeah. it's like eating through the ozone layer. Like it's actually yeah. like a kind of weird fusion of environmentalism and spirituality if you think about like your words going, you know, and affecting people. You know when you walk into someone's house and it's like there's kindness in the air? Mm -hmm. And then you walk into another house and there's not. Like mm -hmm. you can feel these things, you know? I think you You're can. not allowed to talk about this in polite company, but I, I think you can. Yeah, you, know? you can talk about it on metaphysical. Uh, that's why, that's why I'm talking about it. It's metaphysical. And we're know? the only ones who are going to see this, right? You want a gumball? Yeah. Do I need a coin? Yeah. I don't have a coin. Anyone have a coin? Okay, life's big questions. Lightning round. Would you rather be happy or content? Content. Why? Because I think happiness sometimes has like a euphoric thing that you pay for with like despair when it goes away. Like a sugar rush. Yeah, where I feel like contentment is a kind of inner, tranquil, peaceful thing that doesn't necessarily have an opposite. Define love in 10 words or less. That which gets you out of your head. You got two words left, you wanna use them? No. What is the purpose of your life? Personally, I think we're here to uh, kind of transcend our egos and, and, and wake up. 
get Transcend out. Transcend our egos and wake up. Yeah, get out of the madness. I like that. that. Should we clone human beings? I think not. What's your life's big question that you wrestle with? Well, right now it's how to not apologize for sincerity. Cow, soy, almond, or hemp? Almond. I wanted to ask you about meditation. You have a meditation practice. Yeah. That's cool, tell me about it. I have a very active mind. Mm -hmm. and I just think that a lot of what your mind offers up for your consideration is nonsense, a lot of it. It's mm -hmm. just, and it's just repeated kind of anxiety stuff. I like how in Buddhism they call it the monkey mind. Yeah, it is the monkey mind, you know. Just those thoughts bouncing around. Yeah. And, and, uh, and throwing poop. It's in the midst of that. Mm -hmm. I, it's a real challenge, so I have to work at it every day. It's, it's not super sexy, it's just being quiet for a little bit of time and then trying to hold on to some of that inner awareness mm -hmm. as you go out in your day. During, during your day. Yeah. I compare meditating to working out. Like you never feel like doing it. Right. But if you get up and you even just do it for a little bit of time, it will affect your whole day in a positive way. I just feel better. Right. So, and it's weird that you know that and, and you, still there's and that resisted. thing that, yeah, yeah, just constantly. I also think like you can look at, you can almost like have a conversation with the resistance and be like, why are you trying to get me to not do something I know is good for me? You know, and instead of oh. thinking of it as like you, it's like looking at it and going, knock it off. I like that, a conversation you know? with your resistance. You know what, this might be a good challenge. Uh, YouTubers, so pancakers, film yourself, this is good, Yeah. film yourself having a conversation with your resistance. Ooh. The resistance that is against you doing something good for yourself. Film it, you're gonna look like a crazy person, but it's okay, upload it here, and Josh and I are gonna watch every video. Oh. You promise? Yeah, all right, let's okay? do it. Okay, we're gonna do it. do it. We're gonna do it together, and we're gonna hold hands. <laughs> Boom. And I just got one last question for you before you go. Um, how did you meet their mother? Ah! Soul Pancake, subscribe.